Hello friends, welcome again. And this is my new project, Doctor Information System. And I have developed this project using the Python database is MySQL. And for development framework, web development framework, I have used the Django. And the version of Django framework is 1.11. And the MySQL database version is 5.6. And Python version, which I am using is 2.7. For connecting the database from the MySQL, sorry, for connecting MySQL from the Python, I am using the MySQL Python driver, which you will get easily from the mysql.org website. So, and for HTML part, this is a very basic HTML template and this is not a bootstrap, means it's not mobile responsive and uh, you will not be able to uh, see this uh, page well in the tab and mobile also, because this is, I have not used the bootstrap theming in that. Okay, it's very simple and uh, basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript template. So for that, I have also used the jQuery library for validating the forms. Okay, let's let's start with the functionality. Okay, so this is the doctor information system and I have developed this project for managing the informations of the doctor. So what's the name of the doctor, contact, contact email and the uh, addresses and the specializations and the qualification, each and every things which needs to be recorded for a doctors it's there in the project okay so let's start with the functionality so you, this is the home page of the project so you can change this is the basic html page and you can change the content from the uh html page directly so this is the about project page again this is a very basic uh, uh, html page and it's coming from uh, the Django framework so again this is the contact us page so this is a very static page and the information of this contact us page is not saving into the database it's a very static page and then again the admin login so actually i am using the mysql database for storing the data into and for getting the login information each and everything uh, is getting from the mysql database <laughs> okay so let's log into the system so this is the login page and you can see that the above menu has been changed after login if you log out from the system then again the menu is changing and if you log into the system again the menu has been changed if i log out in the system so this is a total session driven system so if there is a data into the session then the above menu will be different and if there is a null into the session then the above menu will be different <laughs> okay so this is the login page and once uh, admin log into the system, the home page, the admin dashboard will be displayed and admin will be perform these operations after login. Okay, so for performing these operation, admin must have a login into the system. Without that, admin will not be able to perform these operations. Okay, so these are the four things and these four things are also available above the menu so you can jump onto the page from clicking by clicking on this link or just clicking on this link so both will redirect you on that particular page okay so let's start with the add doctor functionality so this is the add doctor page and this is a totally uh, jquery validated page and if you click on the submit directly without entering the data into the page then you will get an error okay suppose if please enter or select item in the list right so this is the doctor add page now i am going to add the doctor details suppose doctor farim and doctor hafe the read gmail.com and select qualification that is the ms and the specializations uh, i surgery surgery and about doctor he is i specialist specialist right and gender is male and doctor phone number is something like that and date of birth is this and select city and the state and the pin code okay, that does address suppose a d1 a a2 like that and the doctor profile pics 
so just i am choosing any render uh, choosing any random image click on the submit so you can see that the record has been saved into the database if you want to edit the record then you can just click on the edit and the profile picture is showing here and you can update any of the records from here right once you click on the submit then you will get the message doctor record updated successfully right if you want to delete the record then you can delete the record from here also then that record will be deleted permanently from the database right so this is a totally data grid page and these are the uh, data grid things and uh, suppose there are seven doctors and if there are more than 500 doctors 10 hundred doctors then you will be able to set the number of records which will be displayed on a single page now there are seven records and the maximum number of records minimum number of records is 10 so if there is more than 10 records then you will get the pagination here because now all of the buttons are disabled because there are no more than 10 pages right so if there are more than 10 pages then it will be displayed here this is the runtime search suppose if i want to search anything then it will uh, search the records run on runtime and you the page will not be refreshed right it's very 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 fast search so you can search the things from here if you want to delete the record or edit the record then you can edit or delete the record from here right so this is the again the doctor report page and they, uh, it it's redacting on the same page the list of doctor page so you will be able to edit or view the informations of the doctors okay so this is the project and this is very basic project which i have developed for uh, getting the idea that how can we develop the uh, python and django project using the html css and javascript and by which you uh, from this project you can learn the basic things that how can we uh, add the record edit the record delete the record add update the records making the tables and how can we search the records on runtime so you can learn a lot from this project and if you need more features because this is a mini project so it's very minimal features available in the project so if you need more features then post into the comment sure i will incorporate those changes in my project okay thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel freeprojects.com for getting uh, regular updates on latest project videos thank you thank you very much